let's say you you're a stand-up comedian let's say for some I reason was. or another you're yeah in this hypothetical world where you're still doing stand-up for some reason one of your clips becomes wildly successful in like in germany okay oh, this yeah. is specifically okay. in germany it's but these english speaking germans it was a different country but that's no okay. it's it's germany okay <laughs> oh okay so it's like a, it's All got right. a pretty strong economy. Like people will come out to see you, but would you would you move to Germany? Would you become like German <laughs> Germany's yeah. favorite comic? Because you're for basically you're forgoing any sort of success you would have outside of yeah. Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're saying I am the German comic. Like I am the funny germ. Like for some reason German people fuck with me like David Hasselhoff type shit. So you're saying yeah. like, you know what? I'm but, willing to cap I'm willing to cap any success I've had in my home country or any other country to really just like be a late night host in Germany. Would you would you do it? Um no. Yeah. No. I don't know. <laughs> I, that would be so weird. No. Cuz like no. It, you're saying specifically Germany too. I don't I spent time in Germany. I didn't like it was fun, but I would live in Germany. Okay. I don't want to live in Germany. All right, like, it's the uh... illusions of grandeur. I don't want to be that because then also like that, you know. I would. I, this is. I'm just trying to imagine a scenario where because it's it's a two way street, right? Like they love me, but then when you go there to be like Germany's Adam yeah. Sandler or whatever, like you have to know a shit ton about Germany. Yeah, but you would figure it out. You think they, so? You think whatever, just dude. Up over time, whatever it is, you never wrote kind jokes like, for Germany. Uh, Roman Polanski, like now he's in France. Like French, they love Roman Polanski. Here, do they fuck with him? Not so much. I mean, he lives there. French apparently, the French don't like give a fuck about. All right, all right. Now crimes, it's you know, like they they seem to be pretty lax. I think there's a reason why so many of them end up going to Paris. Okay. All right, fair enough. Would I, I be Germany's I, I thought you would take I, you know it. I thought you would take in, it. In, You're going to be wealthy, dude. I mean, You're going to have yeah, euros coming out the cool. ass, dude. You got a huge contract with uh, whatever the... We well, got a huge contract. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a huge contract from Access TV. Uh, they're giving me a special year. Okay. Hey, here's, the, here's the kicker. And, okay, here's wait. The kicker. The, no, here's the I've kicker. I've got a kicker after here's you. The, okay. Do I have to speak German? Do I no. have to like? I don't. They, I they be, like you for what? you, dude. I wouldn't be. They wouldn't put me up. They don't speak English. Or they they speak English, but the Germany's very like America. They're very like Germany first in the sense that like they don't. If you go there, like they're not going to speak English to you unless you like ask for it or like may, basically be like, hey, I need help. Can you help me? They love you so like, much that they're like just speak English I broke to that us. Barrier. It's part of your charm. Yeah, it's part of your charm is that you don't speak German, but you're beloved. Yeah. Here's the mm. other. Here's the other kicker. The. Uh, I guess I'll do it. Yeah. So you're on. Not? You have you a special know, year on. In, I go live in Cologne. Or <laughs> yeah. The uh, you Berlin. you okay. You, know? you have a you have a contract for a stand-up special a year for Access TV, and then. <laughs> And then, yeah. but turn, but I'm like well, a host on their version of like the voice. Like I'm, yeah, I'm exactly. The, uh, you're, uh, you're the, uh, yeah, exactly. You're the Adam Levine, uh, chair oh, on the well, voice. Oh, well, that no further info needed. Okay. Yeah, all right. Dude, that's what, okay, okay. But I have another clinker let though. Let me flip this though. All right. Go okay. Ahead. No, what's your kicker? And then I'll flip My, it. No, actually we passed it. Go ahead. What are you? I was just going to say, I was going to say the, the parent company, the CEO of the parent company is a Nazi sympathizer. Okay, well, that's, you know. Can you look the other way? <laughs> Listen, no. Good. I could, never, I could never look the other way. I'm not going to work for it. Like, if it was like Fox, you're saying if I had to go work for like the Fox News of Germany, if like they were the ones giving me the contract? Not like necessarily. ABC. Not necessarily. It's just like, it's a low-key affiliation with like, like, like a neo-Nazi group. It's like a low-key. Right. It's like a weird, it's like a, it's like a Chick-fil-A anti-homosexual connection you let know me what I mean? flip this on you let okay please because i know that you're a person i know that you're a yes all the way on germany i know that's why you asked that question because you were thinking of that and you were like i would absolutely do that not the nazi sympathizer thing i want to like i need to clarify i didn't like bring it around so i could say <laughs> that i'm 
Yeah, I think it's pretty clear that <laughs> neither of us would do that. Yeah, okay, you know, good, 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 good. If you would, then that's, you know. Yeah. That's funny, I guess. But no, you would say yes. You would do it. You would be Germany's top comic. My, yeah, so let I would. me raise would. the stakes great. for you. Let me raise the stakes for you. Mm-hmm. You go and that so same scenario, but it's in Syria. You're serious, top comic. Get the fuck like, out, like, dude. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> no, hear me dude. Out. No, listen, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. You become serious top comic. They've allowed they've allowed one entertainer. To come into the country and be the entertainment. No! And they picked you. And here's the thing. You're like literally living like a king. Like you're the only one. You're the only entertainer in Syria. You can do whatever you want. You can't talk shit about the Syrian government. They're not going to allow that. But do whatever you want. That's the no, only, I feel that's the no, only rule. No, you can't talk dude, shit about I, the government. I already I already feel guilty enough not living in a war torn country, but if I have to <laughs> I already feel guilty enough knowing that there are war torn countries. Imagine yeah. imagine living like a king in a country where IEDs are exploding in the streets and people are just trying to milk their goats, up, dude. dude. I, so no. no. So like I think the more I feel like if you were to say, "Hey, you can be here," here's how you would sell. What if it's like ten years? They'll be like, "Hey, you can do this for ten years, then you can do, go on and do whatever." No, you get a ten-year con. Syria gives you a ten-year contract. No, dude, and here's uh, you know what? Here's how <laughs> you would sell it to me that. better because I would feel like such a You're good piece guy. of shit. I'd feel like a piece of shit. You know what I mean? I'm living in a palace <laughs> while should. there's just mutiny all over the place, and yeah. you could. You could sell it to me if you're gonna be like, okay, you're gonna be. What are those guys? The white helmets in Syria, the guys that are like vigilante peacekeepers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're like, okay, you're gonna do stand up for the white helmets of Syria. All right. It's like a. It's like this is that would. If you said, okay, we're gonna give you, we're gonna like support you, but we want you to be the comic relief for the white helmets of Syria, then that would that would inspire me more because I could be like, that, dude, you're I like, could I'm be. On a mission. You're like the USO. You're like the yes. Midler going overseas to help the boys in yeah. Iwo Jima. You know? And you know they're gonna do the next like White Helmets two documentary. They're gonna like, I'm gonna be in there, dude. Oh, for sure. I and like then I'm gonna leverage that success to my. Uh, to the nobody's listening That's fine. Okay, so let me so let me dial this back then. So you're not going to Syria. You refuse to be serious top comic. No. I get that. So let me let me take it down a notch. The Ukraine. You're you, oh. in the Ukraine. It's Still not, not great. Not war turn. The little part of it is being bombed by Russia. Just a little part of it. Over in the corner, I won't give a fuck. You're in like the Ukraine. You get to be Ukraine's top comic. Same deal. Super you know they have like a they have like a entertainment. Yes. They have like TV and television things like that. It's yeah, not good. it's, it's stable enough. It's stable enough. Dark, where I people playing got, darts yeah. is like on prime time. You know, but you have a late night show in the Ukraine, and it's the same thing. You speak English, you do you. For some reason, they're fucking. They're all into it. I'm in. They they love basketball. Basketball's big there. You're in. I've got a friend in okay. Ukraine too. So and it's stable. Oh, it's fun. stable enough where I could live in a palace and not feel guilty about it. Yeah. Well, for now. For yeah. now. And also, Chernobyl did happen there. And they may or may not be taken over by Russia. Would you do how for Russia? It, wait, how big is my red? contract? How much money am I getting? Any numbers, oh, dude, man. It, first, first of all, in U.S. dollars, it just, it's unfathomable. But in Ukrainian dollars, um, you know, it. you're making... Uh, Who's the highest paid? You're making like the rock money. You have okay. the rock money. Yes, of course. Of Ukraine. course. Of course. I would do it in Ukraine. Would I would not it. do it in Syria. Would you do it in Russia? Big red. Yeah, of course. I w- and I wouldn't ask where the money was coming you from. Can't, would you I be would. like, they're like, hey, you, you cannot talk about government situation on show. Oh, yeah. I don't. Do censor me. Censor me, dude. If the money's big enough, man, yeah, I'll okay. dance. You know, you know yeah, I you, dance, dude. Yeah. You're basically. Yeah, I'm a dance well monkey. Like, yeah, you might as well just be an electrician. You're just a contractor. You're like, hey, we'll yeah. Fight. You're like, I'll entertain, I'll entertain you. I'll talk about yeah. whatever you want. You do, you're the comic who only does corporate gigs. You yeah, know? Like you I can I can comic. look the other way. I don't need to know That's where the money what it comes is, from. Dude. That's what it is. Would you be a corporate comic? Uh, no. Who, I don't it, think so. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't know. I would do it. I would do it in Russia, but I would not be a corporate comic for like. 
Kaiser Permente, you know? Would you be I'm, the small town corporate comic who only does, you know, like benefits and galas and like dinners for like high school, like reunions and they need like an entertainer and they're like, hey, you're like the one you're like, hey, can you host? And you're like, oh, boy. Now, listen, I wasn't with you guys, but this guy looks like a drinker and everyone's like, Fuck, he's great. You know? Can I, well, can I like, can I make fun of his, can I like call this, the drinker's wife a slut? How deep can I go? How deep are you willing how, to go? How, you know? Um, you're getting paid. See, that's, this is the plight of the corporate comic. This is it. Is your, are you willing to risk your livelihood to really go in and be funny? Yeah. I don't know. I think I could do it. Uh, you know what it is? It's all like, how long do I got to do it? Can I get $2 million for a two-year contract? Then, yeah, I'll do it. I'll throw away two years of my life to have $2 million and then leverage I, the next 10 years with that $2 million. I'm down. Dude, I, I have suspected that this is a common thing in L.A. There were a lot of comics who were, like, older, you know, late 30s, early 40s, and they're very rich. And you see them at open mics, and you're like, what the fuck? Like, you're terrible. You're terribly, you're woefully disconnected from like current events and like yeah. trends and topics and what's funny. You're like basically like an 80s comedian, but like you're rolling up to this open mic and like a Bentley. And I'm like, two things. Either you're a doctor and this is your like side hustle, or you're like a you're like a, a corporate comic. Like it's the former. You just do events. You think it's that? It's the former. There's not enough money to roll up in a Bentley in corporate gigs unless you're Bentley was like, a bad term. <laughs> I'd say like a Beamer, like a BMW. Like you're showing up to the mic in a Beamer. Yeah, I mean, even so, that guy's, yeah, you that guy, so? yeah, dude, he like had a good year at in his sales job for yeah, Kaiser Permente or some shit, yeah. Yeah, he saved them a lot of money by putting a patent on the vaccine for coronavirus. So yes. they gave him a bonus. Right, now he's, now he's doing what he really wants to do. Yeah.